Dancing like you're smiling in the morning Following the linings on your cheeks Cause baby in your absence life is boring So I'll never leave To today's video so I wanted to talk about what I learned because just the other Monday I think it was my exactly two years from when I first got my chickens and I know this is only my second video on here but I think most of pretty much the people who are here is like my friends and family so you know and this is gonna be kind of a reflection and just some stuff that I kind of picked up along the way and it's kind of crazy because I feel like I've had the chickens for forever, but it also doesn't feel like two years have gone by. It's a weird feeling, but yeah, it's so nice to just feel like I'm confident and knowledgeable with having chickens and not like scared of everything. So yeah, let's get right into today's video. Okay, the first thing I learned pretty quickly is that most likely they're not dying. <laughs> In the beginning of when I got chickens, every little thing would freak out. When the chickens' voices were changing and they would make little like squeaky noises, I thought they were sneezing all the time. And chickens do sneeze, by the way. And I would freak out. I would Google and post on Backyard Chickens every time something was slightly off. And I was just that person with my pets. Like I was just so, It's, it's really sad thinking back. I would literally Google everything and it would tell me, oh my, it could, well, it's probably this, but it also could be this other life-threatening disease. And I would just worry about it way too much, but pretty much most of the time they're fine. I just kind of had to learn that. It's kind of hard to learn, but if you are thinking about having chickens or this goes for any pet in general, pretty much, it's just kind of, don't overthink it. And if you Google it, Chances are they will say that they're dying, but they're probably not, probably not. Just make sure you're observant in case they actually are. <laughs> I don't think that's helpful, but I felt like I should add it. Second thing is eggs are sometimes weird. And again, with the theme, it doesn't mean they're dying. Um, I would get weird. Sometimes we have chickens who lay soft shelled eggs. Sometimes that usually means they're deficient in calcium, but it could, it doesn't mean they're dying and if they're kind of wrinkly or weird shaped, again, it doesn't mean they're dying. If you get a little tiny fairy egg, they're probably fine. And I just kind of have to learn this. Like if I got an egg that wasn't exactly how they're usually laying, it would freak me out at first. And I'd be like, oh, it's probably fine. But it's just a little blip usually in their system. It's a really complicated system to get the egg out perfectly. So sometimes, something just goes wrong. It's literally they could get startled at the exact moment that they're forming the egg and it's something goes a little too quick. That could literally be it. And once I kind of learned that, it's now it's cool when I get a weird egg as opposed to scary, which is, you know, a plus. The thing I learned is it's okay if you miss a day when you're supposed to queen the coop. Like I was just on vacation and I was gone for two weeks and pretty much I had my chicken sitter or she actually offered so sweet, so thank you to just kind of like put some fresh bedding on top of the poop and it was totally fine. I actually need to clean today because I was going to the like day after I got back but I got really busy and it's fine. Like it's obviously good to clean the coop regularly. I suggest like about once a week or every two weeks a full clean and then I freshen up. In the beginning, I would like take all of the bedding out even not the one, the parts of it that wasn't dirty that they literally don't touch and that's a waste of pine shavings and it's really not necessary. So I just wanted to say that because I feel like that's something beginner pet owners, beginner chicken owners can kind of think is necessary, but obviously keep your coop clean, but you don't need to take stuff out if it's not really dirty. 
That sounds obvious, but to me, it definitely wasn't. So I'm adding that on there. The last thing I pretty much learned is that they're actually pretty weather hardy, especially in the cold. We do not live in a very cold place, but even sometimes my family members, not to call them out, but my dad would be like, oh, are they gonna be okay? It's like gonna be 32 degrees tonight. I'm like, yeah, they're gonna be okay. And chickens are incredibly cold hardy. Their feathers pretty much act as insulation and in a good coop setup with chickens around them to keep them warm, they can be fine in like single digits, zero degree weather. Like it's actually crazy. And if you're worried about it, you can give them some scratch before bed to warm them up and make or insulate their coop if you live in a really cold place. But we don't and they do just fine in the cold. They definitely prefer it over the heat, which I have a video about coming up soon about how to kind of keep chickens cool. But yeah, that was just definitely something that I kind of, kind of already knew, but like I learned more about along the way. Those were the main little like tips and stuff that I've learned over two years. A lot of them seem obvious, but to a paranoid new chicken keeper, they really are not. So I hope this was interesting and I will see you guys next week. And I'm just so grateful to have my little four babies. They have been such a little light in my life. And yeah, that's pretty much it, as I've said. So I could ramble along about the chickens for so long. So I'm just gonna end the video off here.